Diane Bolin here coming to you today with a strength workout. All the experts agree that we should get at least two days a week of weight bearing strength exercise with resistance as we age to maintain healthy bones and healthy muscles and be able to continue to do all those wonderful things that we want to do. But what does that mean? With resistance just means using dumbbells or resistance bands or even body weight. Very simple to do. Unlike cardio, we're not trying to get our heart rate jacked up. All we're trying to do is move our muscles slowly. So all of these movements will be slow and with intention. Let me show you how that works. For today's workout, you're going to need a set of dumbbells and your water bottle. And that's all you're going to need. So grab those things and let's get going. As always, we're going to start with our warm up. A little bit of marching. Get the knees a little higher. Step wide and narrow. Get those hips warmed up a little bit. Doesn't matter what you do with your hands. All right, come back to a normal march. Now, we're going to warm up the bottom part of our leg. I like to call this a pretend jump rope. You can pretend you have a jump rope in your hand. You're just going to lift your heels off the ground. Come up on your toes. This is strengthening the calves of our legs. It kind of seems like fun too. And if you're able to, you can actually add a little bit of a jump into that. And if you're super ambitious and you have a jump rope, Grab it. You should start to feel yourself warming up. Muscles are getting warm. This is where we want to start our work. Muscles grow better if they're warm when we work them out. First movement, quarter squat. Feet shoulder distance apart. Hips go back first. We're not aiming for time here. We're going to go for about 10. Breathe. Shake out your legs. Another set of 10. Go a little deeper this time, if you can. If you need to use a chair, do a chair squat by all means. Okay, all nice and warm now. Pick up your dumbbells. Position for dumbbell row. Position for dumbbell row. Your feet about shoulders distance apart. Hips go back. Start with your arms down. And we're pulling with our elbows to do this row. So it's a back exercise. Again, we're going to aim for about 10 here. feels like too much, get a lighter weight, still feels like too much, just use your hands. Squeeze those shoulder blades together in the back. Okay, come up for a second, shake everything out. 
This dumbbell row can also be done in a seated position if you prefer. If standing bent is too much, grab your sturdy chair, lean forward, and just row. Squeeze your shoulder blades together in the back. Nice and slow. All right. Shake that out. Keep these dumbbells in your hand. We're going to go now to a deadlift. Feet about shoulder distance apart. Hinge at the hips. Bring those dumbbells just below your knees. And stand by pushing through your heels. I like to say squeeze your core too. Keep that belly button back towards your spine. Believe it or not, all of our motion comes from our middle. In the industry, we say core to extremity. The stronger your core is, the better your movements are. Shake that out. We're going to do one more set of 10. Here we go. If at any point you get really tired and need to take a break, you can always put the video on pause, grab some water, and jump right back in. Make sure when you stand up, you stand all the way up before you go back down. Okay, shake it all out. Now, we're going to work overhead a little bit. Let's rotate our shoulders, loosen them up a little bit. The movement is a hammer curl and then a press up. Hammer curl to the shoulders, turn, press up, come down, back down. Let's do them slow at first. Three, again, 10. One more. And bring that down. Shake it out. Take a pause here for a second if you need to and grab some water. Next movement, goblet squat. Get your feet in squat position. You're going to hold your dumbbell close to your chest, not out here as close as you can, shoulders back and down, hips go back first, nice and slow, should be nice and warmed up for these squats now. Make sure you breathe. One more. There we go. Okay. Shake that out a little bit. Grab your second dumbbell. We're going to get into row position. We're doing a compound movement here. So starting in row position, we're going to come up and row back 
and then kick back with our triceps and down. Row, triceps, back, down. Make sure you're squeezing those shoulder blades together in that row. down. Come up. Shake everything out. We're going to try a different kind of squat now. We're going to do a sumo deadlift, which is a wide stance, and then a high pull. So you're going to take both dumbbells in front, dumbbells together, palms out, hips back, dumbbells about at your knee, we're going to deadlift up to standing and pull up to your chest and back down. Another compound movement. You can smooth it out. Make the movement fluid. Just make sure you get all the parts together. And one more. Shake everything out. If you need to put your dumbbells down for a second, Go ahead and do that. Our next movement is a curl. This time we're doing a normal bicep curl with our palms out starting up. So we're curling to here, turning and pressing straight out. Remember, if the weight feels too heavy, go ahead and switch it out or put it down completely and just use your hands. And one more. And down. That was our last strength movement. So we're going to go ahead and put our dumbbells down now. After your workout, it's always a good idea to make sure that you're stretching. So we're going to roll our shoulders back and down five times. We're going to take our left arm, bring it across our chest, our right hand up underneath, support right by that elbow, and stretch that shoulder. If you want to get a little extra stretch, you can try turning your neck. You don't have to, though. And bring that arm up and over. Now we're going to bring the other arm across, that arm up underneath. You might feel like one shoulder's a little tighter than the other. That's quite normal. I'm feeling a little tight in my right side today. And bring that arm up and over. 
We're going to do an inhale, all the way up, and exhale down. Bring your feet together or closer together. Push your hips back, come down to about knee height, stretching the hamstrings. Come up, shake everything out, and you are ready to go on to your next activity, having completed a fabulous strength workout. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so that I can continue to bring you more videos like this that you, my viewers, have requested. And oh, by the way, drop me comments. I want to hear from you. I want to know what you would like to see me do. If there are body parts you want to work, if there are things you don't understand, if somebody suggested you do something and you don't know what that thing is, drop me comments. I use those to determine what I'm going to create next for you. Subscribe to my channel, drop me comments, and most importantly, see you next time online.